good morning students welcome to science lesson science lesson 1 topic 1 plants class grade 4 time 40 minutes book students book page 2 and 3 workbook page 1 objective know that plants are living things plants look different but they all have roots stems flowers and leaves so students first we can go through what are plants plants are multicellular living organisms that are able to use sunlight and water to make their own food then we can go through the importance of plants why are plants important plants provide oxygen plants provide food plants are used in medicines plants give us building materials plants are used in our clothing plants provide fuel plants provide us with beauty and pleasure are plants living or non living plants are living things living things means biotic non living things we call it as abiotic so plants are living things living things other examples include people animals and plants what is a living thing a living thing can move a living thing can grow a living thing can change a living thing can make more of its own kind that we call it as reproduce a living thing has needs air water food and shelter people animals and plants are living things so children this is about what is a living thing next one types of plants so first one is shrubs shrubs have many branches and they grow near to the ground their stem is woody and thin and does not have main trunk that we call it as shrubs examples include cotton plant rose plant mums plant so these are the example for shrubs second one wild plants wild plants grow naturally for many years they do not need any person to take care of them wild plants can be grass trees and small plants examples include banyan tree grass periwinkle plant so these are example for wild plants so what are the what is the difference between shrubs and wild plants means wild plants grow naturally for many years they do not need any person to take care of them next one water plants water plants grow in water and their stem stays under water some water plants have big floating leaves in this picture you can see big floating leaves plants like hydrilla grow completely under water so hydrilla means it grows completely under water so these are the three types of plants shrubs wild plants and water plants next parts of a plant so here we can see shoot system and root system shoot system include flower leaf and fruit root system means root so flower flower helps in reproduction then leaf leaf performs photosynthesis then what is the use of fruit yes fruit protects the seeds then stem 
stem supports the plant then what about root yes root absorbs water and minerals the next one what do plants need to grow yes it needs sunlight air water and soil it needs space also plants need their own space to be able to grow healthy if they are crowded they will grow smaller so plants need sunlight air soil water and space also we eat the roots of plants the stem of plants the leaves of plants and the fruits of plant so what are the uh, what are the parts we are eating children so we are eating the roots of plants stem of plants the leaves of plants and the fruits of plants on some plants we eat the roots so we are going through the examples example 4 the plants we eat the roots example carrot radish beetroot onion potato look is below the stem and leaves so we can see this below the stem and leaves next one on some plants we eat the stem example celery rhubarb asparagus so these three are the example for some plants we eat the stem stems we eat the stems of plants like celery and fennel asparagus is a stem and tender shoot fennel celery asparagus these three are example for the stems that we are eating next one we eat the seeds of rice beans and corn then seeds we eat peas cereals like wheat corn rice etc pulses like rajma lobia chole dal etc so th these are the seeds we eat then flowers we eat examples cauliflower cabbage broccoli on some plants we eat the flower example cauliflower broccoli cucumber tomato so these are the example for some plant that we eat the flower then leaves we eat spinach methi and coriander we eat the leaves of some plants spinach lettuce and cabbage then next one fruits are food mango orange apple and grape fruits and seeds strawberry has their seeds outside some fruits whose seeds we eat are pomegranate fig banana strawberry the parts of a plant we eat fruits flowers seeds stem leaves roots fruits and seeds some more fruits with seeds which we eat examples kiwi guava raspberry grapes plant parts as food examples roots examples carrot radish sweet potato beetroot etc stems onion potato ginger garlic turmeric leaves mustard leaves cabbage lettuce flowers examples jasmine gladiolus sunflower flower of banana fruits examples mango apple banana 
guava, orange, etc. Seeds, wheat, maize, rice, sorghum, millet, etc. Some seeds such as groundnut and mustard are used to extract oil. They are also called oil seeds. Parts of a plant we eat. So here you have to write stems, root, seeds, flowers, leaves and fruits. So you can write the answer in the boxes. Choose the answer from the box. Strawberry. So which part we are using? Just write the answer. Orange. Which part? Spinach. Then peas. Uh, then apples. Lettuce. Asparagus. Corn. Peppers. Sunflowers. Potatoes. Etc. Then parts of a plant we eat. Right? root stem flower fruit seed leaves which part we are using just write the answer below next one match the words to the edible part of a plant so flower so which one is a flower just match it then root which part we are using as root just match it then stem then seed Then match the name to the correct picture. So which one is the correct means? You can match it. Leaves means leaves. Seed means seed. Flower means flower. Root means root. Stem means stem. Like that you can match it. Then match. Here also matching. Root, flower, stem, leaves you can see match it with the picture parts of a plant match the parts of a plant to the picture here also you can match which one is the correct parts you can match it then here you can see circle what the plant needs to grow here you can see four pictures so what are the things plant needs to grow mean just circle it. What are the things needed? Just circle. Then summary. Plants are living things. So they grow. Plants need soil, water and light to grow. So children, this is the summary of today's lesson. So children, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.